Why having no social life is ruining your health right now? You got to know that our biology, our genoma, is accustomed to be with persons, to be with people. We need to be with our tribe around yourself. You may think, oh, okay, if I take care of my body, I, if I just eat raw meat and I have good habits, I can live alone without people, no. If you don't live with people, you are going to live like shit, you are going to feel like shit, the same. So you have to know that your social life is really important, not only to your health, but for your social skills, for your sex life, for your sense of humor, for your business, it's important for everything. So you, stop, you have to start right now, think about being in social uh, parties, in social entrance, and just being social wherever you are. You know, you are in the park training, you see a couple of guys in there, you can train with them. If you see a woman, you can talk with her. So, we have to start accustom ourselves to being social everywhere, you know? Because, especially if you are in cities, you have to know that our brain and our unconscious functions uh, without knowing that we are in a modern era. So, you got to know that our brain, if you are around all people and all people is passing through you, is uh, you are surrounded with people that is not saying hi to you, that is not talking to you, that is not seeing you, your brain is going to be okay, I am in a tribe that uh, where people don't like me. So if people don't like me here, I must be in danger. So you start to be with a low vibe, you know, you start to have more fear, you don't trust yourself for talking with people, you are not expressing yourself, you are not being more risky, you are not being more present, so you got to know that your brain is going to be really important in your health and in your um, every, every, everyday life, you know. So know that you got to start forcing this habit, you got to force it. It's not, okay, someday when I have my health, I'm going to be doing this shit naturally. No, you got to force yourself to be social right now. To be funny, to develop a personality that is attractive, because this is going to reward your brain for being more healthy, you know? All those chemicals that are activating in your brain when you are social, when you have validation, it's really important. And I know that we live in a difficult society where people is brainwashed, where people is toxic, but you are knowing, not going to be intimate with that person, you know? That's why I, I say, if you are going to have sex with a woman, you have to be uh, judging her for everything she is, you know? If she is destructive, if she, she is, use drugs, if she don't take care of your, her body, if she is boring, if she is shy, all those characters are, are really bad and you don't want to share that information with her. So it's important that you start to see women not uh, as they, they are hot, but also if they are good uh, for your energy, because you are going to share energy with the act of sex. So, um, don't judge people if you want to be social. Don't judge people if they are drinking, if they are uh, eating burgers. I don't, I'm not saying that you have to hang out with uh, like vagabonds or uh, nasty people, you know, but if you are going to be judging all the people that is around you, uh, it's going to be difficult to start uh, forcing yourself to be social. Because being social and talk with people in the streets is really uncomfortable. You know, at first it's really uncomfortable. So you want to escape these feelings, this sense of uncomfortability. So you got to start uh, forcing yourself to talk with all people. You know, because if you are putting excuses, your brain is going to put excuses for not talking with them. First, because uh, 
the uncomfortable feelings that are connected with that uh, with that situation and after because you don't want to be in change you know when you start to be social you start to be more present you start to uh, meeting more people having more opportunities you got to get a new job you're more charismatic you have more sex you meet more girls it's really awesome so if your ego is attached to all the, the emotions is attached to all uh, the things that you know by your life right now you are not you know you don't want to do that you know your ego is putting excuses for you not to start doing it and you have to fake it till you make it you can be a little weird if you if you don't for example this last six months I haven't been social because this shit um, the pandemia and um, it's difficult to start doing it again so you got to practice you got to force yourself to be in uncomfortable situations awkward situations so start doing it right now and fake it till you make it then it's going to be natural so you cannot expect to be good uh, playing soccer or football if you uh, never play football you know you are starting to be more natural more fluent and not thinking so much about everything you are doing in a social interaction if you start to force in it and seeing that it's not a big deal and why is this connected to to diet i i won't go i won't do this channel just about diet my personality is not just diet you know it's not my worry is not around raw meat raw meat is just a, a media that I, I use for doing my life better no but why is this connected with raw meat if you are eating too much raw meat especially the the diet i recommend is eating too much you got to eat a lot of food if you are not 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 going out if you are just staying at home with the detox symptoms uh, if you don't come here to nature it's really difficult to not be uh, stressed you know you are going to be in your head you are going to be thinking so you need to go out and start being social start to do cool things uh, go dance practice martial arts practice exercise do meditation uh, quit the cell phone cell phone is not going to help you in this in this race of health um, and you might say okay I need the energy to heal myself that's a, an excuse that I used to use for myself for not experiencing myself with the health I have right now you know and, and just stay at home lying with the cell phone and that is shit you know because you are going to be in your head and you are not going to be present and the energy that you are not using, expressing yourself, doing exercise, dancing, going out, uh, doing cool things, study, um, I don't know, a language. All the energy that you are not using, you are going to stay with your head. I'm not saying you don't have to be with your talks, but you cannot stay all day doing that because it's going to drain you. You need to express that energy and let go of that dense tenseness that is creating that raw meat you know if you have activity circles if you have uh, activity circles in your iris no if you have a really tense personalities like you need to move hyperactivity special that kind of type is really important and you go out because if you don't go out and be in open places where the energy is flowing where the spirit is flowing um, you are going to just stay in your head another thing that is important is not thinking too much what you're going to do that is the key for having good experience if you are if you see a girl for example in there and you are thinking I'm going to talk to her no and you are thinking what you are going to say you got to just go and do the fucking thing so that experience is going to be more pleasant and it's going to be more uh, in presence you know you are going to be more present because you are cutting with uh, that kind of habit you are not thinking too much what you're saying 
and that is a good thing. That is the best thing you can have, like a character, you know, being, being present all the time. So I think it's going to help you in your uh, health. Way health is not just your body. Health is in a really good way, your emotions. Uh, and I hope you start practicing this because it's key for developing a good and perfect life.